Most of us hear SATA SSD and think of one of these babies, when actually this could be SATA as well. So what's the difference and which is right for you? Sounds like it's DIY in five time. Hey everyone, welcome to DIY in five. My name's Trisha Hirschberger, and today we're going to delve deep into M.2 SSD PC storage and the fact that there are indeed both SATA and PCIe varieties of M.2. Before I get into the alphabet soup of it all, please note, if you find the information in today's video useful, feel free to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and ding that bell so that you don't miss out on any future tech tips. When we talk about M.2 SSDs, we're specifically talking about the form factor. They're long and thin and look a bit like a stick of chewing gum. Chewing gum. This form factor is ideal for computers that are lightweight and portable like laptops, nooks, and ultrabooks, as well as modern video game consoles. They're also very easy to install. Simply plug it into the motherboard, insert one screw, and you're good to go. Many people think the alternative to M.2 SSDs are SATA 2.5 inch SSDs. And while the 2.5 inch portion is correct, SATA actually refers to the storage interface. SATA and PCIe, or PCIe and VME, are both types of storage interface that an SSD can use. The primary difference between the two is performance and the protocol or language spoken by the SSD. The M.2 spec was designed to accommodate both a SATA and PCIe interface for SSDs. M.2 SATA SSDs will use the same controller currently on typical 2.5 inch SATA SSDs. M.2 PCIe SSDs will use a controller specifically designed to support the PCIe protocol. An M.2 SSD can only support one protocol, but some systems have M.2 sockets that can support either SATA or PCIe. An easy way to tell the difference between the two drives based on appearance alone is the notches in the connection. SATA M.2 drives will have two notches, while PCIe will only have one. Now that we have that cleared up, what's the difference between the two? The PCIe interface is generally faster, as the SATA 3.0 spec is limited to around 600 megabytes per second maximum speed, while PCIe Gen 2x2 lanes are capable of up to 1,000 megabytes per second. And if you think that's a large difference, PCIe Gen 2x4 lanes are capable of up to 2,000 megabytes per second, and Gen 3x4 lanes of up to 4,000 megabytes per second. Not to say that speed is everything. M.2 SSDs using the SATA protocol will generally be compatible with a wider variety of systems and can be better supported by older models. Plus, they are usually more affordable when it comes to PCIe. Another thing to consider is that some motherboards don't have enough PCIe connections to support multiple PCIe and VME drives. You might have to decide on using the available connection between a graphics card or an NVMe SSD. Other times there may be PCIe lanes available, but only a certain type of connection will be able to use NVMe devices at their full speed, such as an M.2 connection. If you'd like to see two side by side, a good example is the Kingston A400, SATA, versus Kingston KC3000, PCIe, NVMe. The A400 has two key notches with speeds up to 500 megabyte per second read and 450 megabyte per second write. And the Kingston KC3000, on the other hand, has one key notch here on the side and offers 7,000 megabyte per second read and write speeds. So to sum up, yes, M.2 SSDs can come in both SATA and PCIe and VME varieties. PCIe is newer and faster, while SATA is more affordable and more widely compatible with older systems. What you choose is up to you, but I hope these basic guidelines helped you a bit in your shopping journey. All right. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you next time with more DIY in 5.